What is going on YouTube? Well, I'm back again with yet another Angelina Jordan donation reaction. And I want to apologize to Kevin Bishop. Because Kevin, you sent this a while back and I don't know if it slipped through the cracks. I was checking my account and there it was. And I forgot about you, buddy. But Kevin would like me to check out Angelina Jordan's version of James Brown's It's a Man's World. And he sent me a link. He said there's actually a special introduction to it so i'm going to play the exact link he sent but we're also going to do like a lot of you enjoy we're going to check out the original first or at least part of it because the original is like over five minutes long so if it's really long and repetitive i might edit some things out here and there but at least you'll get a gist for what the original sounds like and what angelina jordan does with it which we know she's going to knock it out of the park right now if you hear some panting in the background that's my dog He's right down here. They're starting to set off fireworks and he's right at my feet freaking out. So I don't think you can see him, but that's Gordon. So don't mind him. But anyway, here we go. We're going to check out James Brown's version back in 1981. I was three years old at the World of Jazz. So here we go. All right. I don't know. I just I like that picture that I picked of her up there. Very cute. I don't know. Very sassy, you know. Anyways, here we go. James Brown, It's a Man's World. So! 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 He was one of a kind, for sure. Thank you. This is amazing. Well, well, this is amazing. Well, eh. but it wouldn't be nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, so again, the one and only James Brown. I mean, pure emotion, right? He just just lets it go, and he puts on a hell of a show. Very erratic, right? All over the place. One of his famous moves, you know, he, he'd finally go to get off the stage, and they put his robe back on, and then he'd kick it off, and then he'd start doing his thing. And I, I'm always reminded of Eddie Murphy. He did a hell of a impersonation of James Brown, but... Um, so it's hard not to think about that when I watch this, but anyways. Yeah. This is a man's world. Mm -hmm. This is a man's world. All right, so second verse, same as the first, right? But the third verse is going to be the same. Ready? Man thinks about a little bit of baby girl. Never mind. Sorry. And a baby boy. Man make them happy. Because man make them toys. But after man make everything, everything he can. Man makes money, the root of all the evil. To buy from other man, this is a man's world. But it wouldn't be nothing.
cool. Yeah, I shouldn't have sold them short by saying it was going to be the same. It's just, you know, it's it's pretty common in kind of like the, especially the classical blues, right? Like hardcore down-home blues. It was just kind of repetitive, but just again, pure emotion. Usually the guitars in there would, would kind of throw in a little emotion in between phrasing and things like that. Well, James Brown didn't have a guitar. He uses his voice and screams and does all kinds of stuff in between. Same thing, right? Same purpose. So, but, all right, here we go. What? You think he's dumb, but he's not. Watch. No, you don't even need the mic anymore. comes his resurrection, right? Typical James Brown, man. <laughs> He's so awesome. Can't wait to see what Angelina does with this. <laughs> cool. So you can do all that rolling around, and uh, <laughs> I'm sure we'll hear we'll hear a scream or two. But all right, super cool. All right, well here we go. Let's see what Angelina does now. All right, so I'm not sure when this is, where it is. I guess we'll. There's an intro, so we'll find out. It's in her den, living room, kitchen, wherever this is. It's a cool little setup. This is the first time I've heard her speak in Swedish. No, Norwegian. She's Nor Norwegian. Ooh, Oslo, Norway. The fortress. Cool. I don't know why I was thinking Swedish. I've been doing so much Swedish lately with Sabaton and... Professional quality. Okay. Man, look at that hair. Okay, so I think we're going to get to the song. I was kind of getting nervous there for a minute because 
there were other songs, but it says it's a man's world to, at the top, so I'm going to trust Gavin. So I just want to pause it. I, you know, I, I get nervous with James Brown. I, I'm hoping nothing gets blocked or anything like that, but, but okay, here we go. Best performances. This is a man's world. This is a man's world. I'll be nothing. Nothing. I'm a woman. <laughs> the lucky So I do want to say really quick, it's neat seeing it from the other side of things. She's changing the perspective a little bit, right? Which is why I'm glad we watched the other one first, because I'm not familiar with the song. But he's singing it, obviously, from a man's point of view, and she's singing it from a woman's point of view. Now, of course, it's, it's pretty dated, right? I mean, there are women building cars and building trains and doing things like that, and Women don't need to be rescued out of situations as much, right, anymore or anything like that. I mean, we all need to be rescued out of situations sometimes. But but of course, with Angelina, she goes back to those time periods, right, so well. So it works. It works. Beautiful, though. She's got a ton of power. She's got all that emotion and everything. Awesome. You see our little baby girl. Catch how old she was here. Yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> I like how they put the subtitle, Maggie. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, I'm sorry. I guess I'm in a goofy mood or something, but it's kind of neat. I like it they put, and I didn't. I didn't notice if this was in the first one. Saying man does all these things, makes all these things, but then same time we're lost in a wilderness for sure. Without my wife, I am lost from moment to moment. Right, my wallet, my car keys, right, where I'm going for the day, when to be where, right. And I don't think I'm the only guy out there that's like that, you know. Usually, if it weren't for the women, ugh, we'd be in a bad patch. So, anyways, hopefully my wife's watching this. Very elegant, very graceful, and at the same time, 
All that power and stuff, it's great. And she's barefoot. She's barefoot. And she's left. Cool. Okay, Kevin. Well, thank you for that. We're going to head over here and wrap it up. So, yeah, Kevin, thank you very much for that. Now, I want to say this request was on the heels of my comment saying that I wanted to hear something different from Angelina. Because he said, you know, for something to totally blow your socks off. And it does. Her voice, her power, everything incredible. Yes. And I caught a little bit of flack for what I said. Some of you were kind of upset by that. But all I'm saying, again, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it again, she has nailed time and time and time again that jazzy sound, that bluesy, jazzy, old school, old world sound. And by channeling all of these artists, whether they be old blues singers or jazz singers, she's taken all of their styles and abilities and just melded it into this beautiful style that's all her own. And she did that at a very young age. And that's cool. And these comments that I've been making over the last few videos have only come from people who say that she's the girl of a thousand voices, that she's incredibly versatile and can literally sing anything. So that's why I asked for just anything just kind of outside of that realm that she's already done. So if anybody could find me that, awesome. And again, maybe my brain is just wired weirdly because of some of the music that I listen to. For example, the, the singer of Nightwish, in one song she'll sing opera, belting, then she'll turn around and growl. Then she goes into a contemporary singing voice and she, she's just literally all over the place. But Angelina, she is certainly, I can't call her a queen yet, I don't think she's old enough, but she's certainly the princess of old soul, soulful, jazzy, beautiful, powerful music. Full of emotion, full of talent. So please, when I'm saying these things, I am not pulling that away at all. I'm not, I'm not taking any of that away from her whatsoever. She's incredible. She's amazing. You know, so the question still stands. If there's anything outside of that realm, let me know what it is. Otherwise, I'll keep enjoying this type of music. It's awesome. But hopefully we'll see in the comments. I know there's many, many more songs to check out. I know there's a few more covers to check out. And I can't wait to do it. So let me know where to go next. But in the meantime, everybody, please be safe, be healthy, and be nice to each other. Bye.